apostasy in Islam is, is a wicked and, and bad law. It needs to change. There are signs that uh, Muslim leaders around the world are aware uh, that there's some pressure on them. They are being forced to discuss this issue. The organization of the Islamic Conference is uh, really the United Nations of the, of the Muslim nations of the world. And they've set up a, something called a Fiqh Academy, which uh, makes rulings in Islamic law. And they discussed uh, last year, in, in April 2009, this issue. And there was a very heated debate about it because they're aware that the people are paying attention to this aspect of teaching in Islam, that if you leave Islam, you should be killed. The Minister for Religious Endowments in Egypt said the case of religion um, is a complex matter and it's sensitive to discuss. He was asking for some opportunity to discuss these issues. And he said we should review the issue of the apostasy law without, of course, throwing into question, he said, our religion. But others said that was wrong. Uh, it's very clearly said by Muhammad that whoever changes his religion, we kill him. Uh, one of the speakers, Dr. al Shabali, one of the leaders, uh, experts in Islamic finance at that meeting, said that the idea that everyone has the right to choose their religion, he said, is a delusional statement. It opposes the saying of Allah that if anyone desires a religion other than Islam, never, it will, never will it be accepted from him. So these debates are beginning to happen in the Muslim world. There is a pressure, and we need to increase the pressure, we need to stand up for the rights of Muslims to have freedom of religion, to choose to be whatever kind of Muslim they wish or to leave Islam. We also need to stand up for the rights of Christians throughout the world who've, who have left Islam and live in fear of persecution. Very courageous people and brave people. We need to have a courage here in this country too that people who choose Islam, who choose to follow another faith and want to leave Islam, want to choose Christianity, have the freedom to do so and can do so with courage. My friends, as I said, we're here today to declare a, a crack in this wall it will not stand, it cannot stand. It's based on deception and intimidation, and it goes against the natural conscience that has been placed in the heart by God, in the heart of every person, that freedom is a good thing. And we're standing up for the rights of 1.5 billion Muslim people to have freedom in the world today.